The reverse blind splice is an excellent knot for putting a loop in backing. In fact, the knot word is wrong because there's no knots, there's no t glue, there's no knots. It's just a magical knot that is 100% strong and extraordinarily neat. So a very, very good knot to learn. Uh, what I've got here is some backing, some braid backing. And I've got a bit of piano wire here. First thing you want to do is when you get a bit of piano wire, you want to make sure that you've got a nice long section like this, a good kind of 14 inches or so. And you want to take a pair of pliers and at the fold over bit, you want to squish it to get a nice sharp pointy loop. If you do that, this part will be easy. About six inches or so from the end, you are going to insert, you're basically going to insert that wire into the backing and feed it along the backing. You kind of just start it off like that, and then you just feed it. And one of the techniques is not to have a droopy bend here. So if you keep that backing straight, it means that when you feed the backing and the wire through, it'll go to the middle. And you feed it up a good inch and a half to two inches like this, just going in and feeding along. Like that. Once you've got a good inch and a half here, you just pop the wire through. And that is the first setup. Now you pull out enough wire to get your reel through. So you pull out the wire here and then you take that wire loop and you put your reel through the wire loop and you then pull the wire loop back through the backing like this, all the way through the piano wire through. And as you can see, this loop here is gonna disappear inside the backing here. It's gonna slide through. So you slide and you just pull it all the way out, take the wire off, on one of these two ends, you'll find that the loop will make this loop down here disappear. So you pull that, that's the wrong end, so this one. I just keep pulling that all the way through. This other loop's disappearing on my left until it's all the way through. And then as you pull, this backing is going to turn itself inside out like that. Look at that. Cool, huh? So that's the backing. It's got through itself. Now you've got a very large loop on this end. This loop's obviously too large. You want the loop about the size of the reel. So you take the non-tag end and just pull that, and that just adjusts this loop until you get to the size you want. As I said, it wants to be about the size of a reel, big enough you can get a reel into that. So that looks like about, about the right size to me. Once you've got the reel tested and the loop the right size of that reel, now comes the locking part. So the locking part, about an inch from where this tag comes out here, about an inch from that spot, you take your wire, maybe an inch and a half, and you do the same thing as the first stage. You put your wire into the backing and then feed it through the center, just feeding the wire up towards where it exited here. It doesn't have to touch, you can just get up there an inch. A good inch is plenty. Uh, and in fact, I'm deliberately not gonna have it here, you can see why. It'll pop this out. Put the tag end through the piano wire. Pull that through like this, and the tag end is going to disappear up that second sleeve, if you like, the tube. Pull the tag end all the way out. Get rid of the wire. And you've got a little loop here, as you can see there. These two connections are separate and you don't want that because you can get a bit of a bump or a blister in there and so when you come back to this first loop you formed when you pull you'll find one of the ends will pull will shrink those two bits together and kind of see it forming like that see that that's pulling up and I get those two exit holes if you like right against each other and then I come back to this end and pull the tag till that disappears and then smooth everything out going to either side of the two exit wounds <laughs> You cut that and then come to the tag end and you just want to tighten this just slightly snip the tag end off close and then what will happen is when you let go is that you brush that back and the tag is now disappeared inside the backing and that's it what's nice about this loop as i said there is no knots there's no glue you can reef as hard as you like that will never ever ever slip out so that is the reverse blind splice, an excellent knot for attaching or putting a loop into backing for attaching your line to. Rio, make the connection.